Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. We have a new build of Windows 10 for Windows 10 Mobile. Uh, released yesterday, this is 14283. This is currently only available on the Lumia 950, 950 XL, 650 and 550 devices released with Windows 10. But now they've also added the uh, Zonomi MI4 and the Alcatel OneTouch Fierce XL, which also coming with Windows 10 Mobile. So, so the devices that ship with Windows Phone 8.1, which have been upgraded to Windows 10, aren't supported yet. Just the devices that ship with Windows 10 Mobile. Okay, so what's changed in this? Well, there's not a huge amount. In the Phone app, you've now got this um, dialog there, which shows notifications on there when there's something new. So this is showing there's no new mail um, voicemails, but if there was if there was two, it would show a two in there. And if you had a missed call, it would show a one in the in the in the in the call history section. So a bit more vigilant notification. They've done some changes to the mail and calendar app, but these were in the in the previous build. You can now do um, I'll be late when you get calendar notifications, and um, you can also uh, turn off previews, the preview playing for reading emails. But I haven't seen those updates yet, so for some reason I've not got those on here. Okay, so what's fixed in this release? Well, there's quite a few things actually. They fixed the problem where the this background image wasn't available in the all apps list, which uh, it may go white, so you have white background, white text, which is not very good. So they've fixed that. They fixed an issue with the song control. You probably can't see this now, but uh, well, I can't show this to you now because they fixed it. But when you go to play a track and you would pause, and you press play, this, this volume would all flick around as though it's going through a million tracks and then it would just start playing so they've, they fixed that UI issue. They've changed some of the logic on the live tile refreshes, you can't really see it on here but they, if the badge notification and the text was changed at the same time they've improved how that appears and some live tiles weren't doing the notifications correctly anyway so they fixed that. And They fixed the connect issue as well up here for joining into um, uh, mirror cast displays and wireless displays that kind of thing as well. I've also noticed as well, I don't know I will see this now uh, no, this the way that these live tiles appear they sort of come left top to bottom now which seems differently than before. There are some issues with it that you need to be aware of um, the Bluetooth support has been updated to 1.5 and the pairing with your Bluetooth device to in your car um, is done at the, the feature uh, detection is done during pairing. So if you're already paired up, it's used the 1.0 profile. And if your car has some extra features that the 1.0 profile didn't support, but the phone now does, you need to repair them again. I haven't done that, and everything just worked fine anyway. But uh, you will need to start to get the, the most out of those features. If you've got a Microsoft Band, the Microsoft Health app and the syncing will no longer work bit of a problem when you've got a Microsoft band like I have but there is a way around that uh, which is to change your language your phone language and then the syncing starts so I, I was set on UK English I changed it to US English and everything started working I haven't tested it's going back to UK English to see if that fix it but I'll, I'll perhaps give that a try today uh, another issue is the gadgets app won't necessarily see the um, display dock, the Windows display dock for uh, doing continuum and therefore it can't update it with the new version of the firmware. Um, so the gadget app, there's the gadget app, the HD500, so there's the continuum dock. So if, the, um, if that is the case, then you won't get the new firmware, so you could get a couple of stability issues. If you've already got the new firmware on, then it doesn't matter, and then that bug will be fixed in future versions anyway. And another thing that's been, uh, another issue with it is the web encryption security method doesn't work. So if you're using a really old uh, wireless uh, network with web, which is not very uh, secure, it won't work. So you either have to stay on the previous build or use WPA or WPA2, which you should be doing anyway. You don't want to be using those old ones. Uh, one other thing I found as well is the battery saver uh, I had pinned to the bottom there and that's disappeared as well. So I can re-add it, but it's just to be aware of when, you, when you're when doing the upgrade. Uh, 
So those are all the changes on this build. Um, like I said, there's a couple of exchange uh, outlook changes that I can't show up on here, so I'll have to figure that out. So this is 14283. You can go and look right back to the very first preview of Windows 10 Mobile. Um, last year and all the PC builds as well on our YouTube channel. So thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on the digitallifestyle.com.